Hello, nerds, and welcome. We are crossing the nerdverse. We apologize for the brief delay for those of you that tuned in right at 8 o'clock. We lost track of time uh, making probably the most ridiculous jokes I think we've ever made in the pre-show and uh, shitting all over Ryan's ideas, which is pretty cool because then we spend the entire episode making fun of Eric. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about shonen anime, and instead of the hey, how are yous, we're going to go through and name our favorite shonen anime character. And we'll start off oh, with character? probably Not the even person. Favorite... Yeah, you're going to have to go character. I'm going to make it hard on you. And we're going to start do off well? with Clark because the pressure is on. <laughs> yeah. No, fuck you. Um, favorite shonen. I, I'm going to go uh, Ichigo. It just, he's my boy. He was my boy in the beginning. Like, with nostalgia the for me. The, yeah. <laughs> the half mask, the half mask Ichigo is probably my favorite. That art, yeah. Is all so I'm gonna go amazing. Ichigo from Bleach. Ichigo from Bleach. Eric, who you got? Just kidding. We Dude. know it's My Hero Academia. Um, no, no, it, it's, it's <laughs> Archer Pikachu. from Fate Stay the Night. Oh, or, or Pikachu. Oh, or Pikachu. Yeah. Pikachu. One of the two. Uh, I don't even know if I could have te- a moment. Technically a shonen. <laughs> it's technically exactly. a shonen. I don't like stronger than Pikachu. Has anybody brought right. up the fact that Ash is just strong as shit? Yeah. Like, just holding oh, up those man. Pokemon that weigh a oh. ton? <laughs> Alright, Ryan, who you got? Uh, uh, Alright, so hard question, but I I gotta go Ryuk from Death Note. Death Note? Chaos okay. God of Death, one of my favorite characters ever. Chaos God but of not Death. my favorite shonen, actually. If I was gonna choose my favorite shonen, you gotta go FMA for that one. Like, Full Metal Alchemist is probably my favorite. Full Metal, yeah. Um... I'm gonna go but, Eric yeah, Elric a... is your Yeah, I mean <laughs> that's like the Archer is my favorite probably character, but Fate Stay the Night is not my favorite shonen. Yeah. I like it and I love the twist, but like it's not. It's it's maybe top ten. But like the but, character though and the way they do the character, fucking awesome. Let's round so it out, awesome. Travis. I gotta go Piccolo. Solid. Yeah, I love Piccolo. Piccolo's the dude. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. When it comes to like the Dragon Ball Z and that, that kind of stuff, right? it's never been my cup of tea. I've never really enjoyed the show that as much as the fandom seems to. But I definitely had brothers that watched it religiously. And so I know several of the characters. And Piccolo, i gotta, I got to side with Travis here. I think Piccolo is one of the coolest characters in the entire series. Um, I like Piccolo. I like Trunks. Um, and I like the androids. And... So, yeah, Piccolo is the dad that all the Saiyans needed. I agree. <laughs> and before you like say, oh, it was just Gohan. It wasn't just Gohan. It was I didn't Gohan. Think it was just Gohan, but it was mainly Gohan. He 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 plays dad to Goku like a lot. He was like, you shouldn't do that, Goku. Goku's just like, but why? And he was like, sit down and behave. And he's like, fine. Dude, I love he's the, the scene. He's the dad to all like the Saiyans, father. like all of them. Yeah. Do you remember this just... scene like in the end of Dragon Ball Z when they're supposed to fight Boo? And, like, the first time, like, Goku goes Super Saiyan 3, and him and, like, Piccolo later talk about it, and he's, like, you like he probably could have took him and stuff like that, and he's, like, the kid's got to do it, man. That's why Goku's a fucked up hero, man. He's, like, yeah, <laughs> pro- probably, but, like, we'll let the kids do it. Like, oh, yeah, and the planet get destroyed. Good call, bud. Solid plan. Well, yeah. Everybody well, in case... Into chocolate. Yeah, that's that's it. In case it wasn't brutally clear to all of our listeners, um, we are, of course, doing Shonen Anime for our episode tonight, one that uh, we've all been very, very excited about, and I'll have to admit, one that I'm already getting educated on as I did my homework for this one. I'm going to say the same blanket warning that uh, Ryan did for Isekais. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, Oh, yeah, nothing's fine. We cannot be held avoiding... responsible for the blabbering <laughs> that is about to take place. So please, yeah, if, if, if you do not want spoilers, show, okay. yeah, if shonen. you do not want spoilers for any shown in anime at all, no matter how niche or popular, maybe stop here, finish what you're doing, and come back to us later. It's okay. You can download us. No, no, just watch so. it. You'll be all right. You'll, if it's any good, you'll still watch it. That's fair. that's fair point, actually. I mean, you're gonna want to know why that happens and how it happens. It's not like I can draw the picture of like how Toto loses his arm on here or something okay. like that's not going to happen. <laughs> like just coming out with a banger. Yeah, just coming out with a big one, yeah. Everybody oh, that watches the dog from JJK Kansas? like exactly. knows that. Oh. Everybody that watches JJK yeah, thanks. I already I'm knew like that. on episode 2, so appreciate that heads up. 
He well, loses an arm. So we're going to have to start well, warning each other for, for spoilers more so than our listeners. <laughs> I mean, to Eric's point, even if it's spoiled for me, I'm still going to go watch it. Yeah, like, I'm still going to watch it. Dude, I, you guys I read whole... the manga and then go watch the anime. I know what's happening. That whole series is ruined for me because I've read so far ahead like with different things online, like the Japanese, where even the manga is like, not caught up to how far it is and like the cutscenes you can find, like of the, the drawings and stuff of the, of the show. <laughs> Have it's you... totally ruined for me, but I'm going to watch every episode like some endearing fan. Do you guys ever still look at the explain a film or TV show plot badly stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I loved the one for Jujutsu Kaisen that said finger food. I mean, <laughs> that one was so good. It was like, what? It was a high school quest for finger food? And I was like, oh, that's. That's exactly what the whole Violent show is. Violent high school <laughs> yeah. quest for finger food. Um, so yeah, just spoilers ahead. Spoilers, yeah, spoilers. It. And we're going to be having that for the rest of this entire series, guys, because you can't cover this without a spoiler warning. So <laughs> we should, um, we should, however, start off with the basics and yeah, what is a shonen? And I'm going to guess that probably Ryan and Clark both have an answer ready. Well, and that's true, but part of it for me was the fact that I didn't actually know what a shonen was until I started doing my homework for this episode. Oh, really? Yeah. <gasps> if somebody I, said shonen to me a couple weeks ago, I my brain immediately right, goes it? to, like, it's an action show, right? Like, it's an adventure action anime. Because all of the stuff that I knew was shonen were things like Naruto and Full Metal Alchemist. Um, Bleach actually was a, a good example. Because so I was like, okay, that's shonen. It's, it's like action stuff. And turns out that's not exactly correct, because we're going to be talking about the forbidden topic, as far as the American culture right now is considered. It's gender advertised. Yeah. It's like, I am so excited for what <laughs> the forbidden topic is. I, speaking of, I forgot to mention this earlier. Ryan, I am shocked when you were picking a favorite shonen character that you did not pick the guy that was making all the chimeras out of Full Metal Alchemist. Uh... I know how much you love that guy. Uh, to this day, at least three times a day on my my gaming group Discord, I'll get tagged, and it's, it's just like not that often. A meme or a three GIF times a month <laughs> of, of the it's... stupid guy that was making chimeras out of his own daughter and, and dog. I uh, mean, because he didn't make multiple; he only made one out of his daughter and his dog. <laughs> well, you would think that, but there's so many variations in the art. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's absolutely probably the character that I hate the most out of any anime of any genre. Bones um, and I were contemplating pooling money and getting you an ugly sweater that had the word Edward uh, and then the Chimera on it for Christmas. Oh, uh, I despise all of you. No. And it had, I would have worn it was, that shit, it wasn't like It wasn't like knitted like hair, hair? like wasn't knitted into the pattern. It was hair that like okay. was sewn on and then hung down. Ugh. Okay, who else like... Who else has someone they really hate from anime? Since we're saying it real quick, mine's got to be Mahito from <laughs> JJK. I I hate that dude with like a passion. Such, uh, but he mine was would really be good. Don Quixote from One Piece. One Piece. I despise him mostly because the dress. Doflamingo. Doflamingo <laughs> Don Quixote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I screw that guy. Ooh, pressure's on, Travis. To... It's hard for me to pick my hate list, but Eric's holding up our sign for like, follow, yeah. subscribe, which is a good distraction while I pare down my list. <laughs> I have a lot of people that I hate in anime. I um, thought you were just going to say you hate. Uh, I have a lot of people that I hate. I'm going to have to go. What is it? I'm just going to go Blackbeard from One Piece. He's just shitty. Yeah. yeah it's fair. Like, he, yeah, and I get a real, like, he gives me a real strong, like, actual pirate vibe in that show with some of the things that he said to people. Like, I'm getting a real rapey vibe from that guy. <laughs> Oof, just to throw yeah, Did you fair. not see the one where he's talking to Bonnie and he's, like, touching her cheek and he's like, you can stay in my cabin if you want. I'm like, that's fucking creepy, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember. I just didn't want to. Just uh, repressed that memory. I, yeah, I've only that was watched that was a black space. Seven hundred episodes to get that out of my mind. <laughs> it's a toss up. Yeah. There is another character that I, I don't want to get into this argument with Clark, but there is another character in One Piece that Ace. I absolutely hate, and he's not even a villain. Yeah, it's Ace. I fucking hate Ace. Uh, well, I don't think that's you, because you're wrong. I don't think you have to. It, 
like some of the heroes in anime too can be like just useless. Like it's just I anime, hate Naruto. I love anime because of the way they develop characters, dude. It is so much Thank better you. than anything anything that North America does for a cartoon. To even try to fucking compare makes me so mad when people do Are you watching that cartoon? Like, no motherfucker, this is anime. This is like people that literally yes. spend time developing Characters and you're right, and Eric. Things. Video games haven't been good since 1989. Yeah, they haven't made a good true. movie since you know Smokey and the Bandit. We get it. Oh, uh, making fun movie. of Smokey and the Bandit. I love that Dude. movie, man. Wow. Uh, uh, just so that. everyone knows, <sighs> Ryan hates Trans Ams. That. That's what he just said. He hates Trans Ams. So I said they haven't made a good movie since Smokey and the Bandit. How did you get best there? Best movie ever. It's this not even the best case. movie ever. That's All I like fun of Eric Jerry for Reed's not go. liking anything cool, popular, or made since 1990. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're talking about Shonen tonight at, at some point through the tangents. Um, which, the best way to pull it up, obviously, is going to be the straight-up definition, which is a manga. Is it manga or manga? I struggled with that last time. Manga. manga. I die inside manga. every time I hear you guys say manga. <laughs> But it's, 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 manga. Manga. it's the manga and the man was. I it's say the manga right. and the man was. Uh, so a manga it's or an mangas anime. Piss off the whole community. <laughs> Paperback right. anime. Uh, so one of them that is created, marketed to, and intended primarily for boys. Um, as compared to its, co- uh, its, its cohort, its counterpart. Uh, Clark, help me. Is it shoujo? Shoujo. Shoujo. Uh, which is the same thing, but it's created, marketed, and intended primarily for girls. And so when I was doing my homework, actually, uh, the best way that I could put it, and I know this doesn't exactly fall into it because one of them is not actually an anime or anything, but it's the difference between Power Rangers and Sailor Moon. Both transformation magic girl shows, one intended for boys, one intended for girls. And that's fair. A lot of it, that's a, f- a, lo- that's a fair comparison. Yeah, yeah a lot of the typical like we had talked in isekais the typical themes that like if i told you if you said hey you're about to watch an isekai these are like the three things i would assume are about to happen like the same thing can be said for shonen they have a lot of cynical similar traits like typically there's a long journey there's some kind of physical or emotional growth for the characters there's usually like a a hero versus villain narrative where a lot of shoujo is kind of slice of life, where there might not be a hero villain, it might just be, like, getting through life. And, like, a lot of shonen will also have, like, bonds of brotherhood and friendship. It's usually, like, a group going through it, and some kind of... Tra- There's always a training arc. Like, no matter what, training somebody's montage. training and developing a skill, because, you know, that's what young boys are kind of, like, target market for like oh you can develop your skills and become the ultimate thing um so those are typically like the items you'll see in shonen as compared to shoujo like shoujo you could still see adventure like um yona of the dawn is still adventure in action but it's a fmc instead of an mc so you know yeah female main female point of view versus male point of view well the interesting thing yeah, yeah, exactly. The interesting thing for me when I started looking at some of the lists, because like, if you just go and you Google popular shonen anime, right? Um, I didn't expect Death Note to be on there. And again, this was my own kind of like bias from the way I didn't realize how it was uh, actually defined. And because Death Note's not super like action oriented in my mind. I've never considered it like an action adventure kind of story. Um, and it does have action elements, obviously, but I was surprised to see it on the shonen list. But things like My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, Full Metal Alchemist, Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Clover. Yeah, all this made sense for me. And so it is kind of, it's it's cool to see because with Isekai, we even made fun of it, right? With the Isekai episode, we had to start getting into all these bizarre subdivisions of fantasy, right? Because it's like, oh, it's fantasy, and then we're going to cut it into these five pieces, and in there is going to be portal fantasy, which cuts into these, which eventually ends up at, at Isekai. Which means that our first episode of the series was very like niche, right? Like, okay, we're doing we're doing the super niche kind of subgenre. Whereas Shonen I think is it's a, a lot niche more subgenre that has a metric shit ton of content in it. It's a very <laughs> yeah. narrow genre that just has so much in it. Like you could die watching Isekais. 
And you can also I, have I, an isekai shonen. I have to interrupt for a brief second. Eric, are we uh, are we live up on YouTube currently? Yeah, showing us live, sir. Yeah, Bones is hitting us up saying still not showing us live on the Crossing yeah, the Nightverse I, channel. I actually thought it was me. I'm not picking us live presently. Technical difficulties. Frustrating technical difficulties. This happened last week, too, when I changed the setting. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's that's okay. why I don't make we'll any money. We'll fix it in post, right? <laughs> Yeah, we'll catch it in post. If we'll catch he it should post. be able to go, if you go into the Facebook group, it should be right in there. Are he we allowed to have Facebook? Facebook? Is the problem? Oh, send it to him in Discord. S- send him what in Discord? I can't find a link to us being the live. Facebook group. On... Oh my god! Send him a link to the Hi, Facebook everybody. group we're still in here. Discord. We, we are for um, him. Yeah, but on a for real yeah. note. Yeah, Shonen's a huge topic. Uh, East, the reason Isekai is so weird is just because it's so popular and it's a small niche. Like, when you look at, like, Shonen's a bigger thing, but it's got its sub, like, categories, but they all blend. So, like, even when you go on, like, Crunchyroll, like, you'll see a lot of them are in multiple, like, they'll be in, like, Supernatural and they'll be in Adventure and things like that. Where Whereas, like, Isekai is just, like, its Still. own little thing, which is pretty cool, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not a, like a huge fan of East Sky. I'm sure everyone got that last week when I couldn't name a lot of the stuff. Um, I'm much more of a shonen because I don't know. That's just kind of how it is um, for me. I don't know. I like the brotherly love. I can work out a lot, let people punch me in the face and eventually go super saiyan. That's what I've learned in life. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you beat me up a lot, eventually at some point I'll be able to go super saiyan. That's, that's well, what I've learned. That's I mean, that's how saying works is when you get defeated, you become stronger. So like the right. more you fight and the more you get hit, the stronger you become. See? That's, so I need to just start entering competitions with no skill whatsoever and just see what happens. Well, and the other <laughs> thing about going into a broader umbrella like this, right? Because with Isekai, you kind of know what you're getting into. And there's a lot of variation to it. But all in all, if you like one particular Isekai, you're at least going to enjoy the vast majority of them. Not all of them, but the majority of them, right? With Shonen, you get the opposite. Because I start looking at the list of Shonen, and I love Full Metal Alchemist. I love Bleach, more or less. I love the first three seasons of Bleach. Um, Black Cobra. Have you watched great. the Thousand Year Blood War arc? No, I, I stopped at the Mod <laughs> Souls. Yeah, it's... once they introduced Mod Souls, that's when I, I kind of left Bleach. Just power through that, and <laughs> then it gets really good again. We don't speak of mod souls. <laughs> yeah, um, that's kind of like you know, uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. We just all pretend uh, it didn't happen. Whoa, my favorite one was Tokyo Drift. Oh, you with that would. soundtrack? Oh, it was so good, I, dude. The soundtrack was popping. I have to admit that the soundtrack was good. The rest well, of now the, was I pretty love light, how but... the soundtrack is what made it your favorite. That's like no. Now that we know, mm-hmm. we can no longer trust Eric's judgment. <laughs> Um, it was what? a good soundtrack. That's it's a good soundtrack. soundtrack, but why did that make it your favorite Fast and the Furious movie? That's fair. because the, the main one character is by far was the actually best. interesting. Like no. it was good, it was solid. We don't need physics anyway. We have family. Yeah, yeah um, but there are several shown in <laughs> that I actually really do not like that are super popular. And I know I'm going to catch shit from this, but I really can't stand Chainsaw Man. It's never been one that I really enjoyed. Did, did not care for it. I know it's like a huge fan favorite, but you start I comparing get that. Past his chiclet teeth. Yeah, that um, was creepy you sex the line. Stuff. The, yeah. the creepy I, sex it, stuff. It was just a dude motivated by boobs, and I was like, "All right, I'll just go outside." No yeah. offense to yeah. all the men <laughs> in my in in if the world, gonna... but like high school DXD. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I like high school DXT. I I don't know. I found him less annoying, I guess. I don't know. Just just the chiclet teeth, apparently. We were talking about... uh, We were talking about main characters we couldn't stand earlier. And I've been told that... Because, well, you know, I'm just going to bring it up. I don't like Naruto. Like, as a character. The show was pretty good. I could not stand him as a character. I have so many fans come up and tell me, Well, did you watch the dub or the sub? Well, of course I watched the dub originally. Um, and there's a whole bunch of very, like, Puritan, you have to watch the sub kind of stuff, uh, which I don't prescribe to. The, but the I've been told he's so much makes better. 
the voice makes more sense in sub, but I agree with you. I did not like Nar Naruto as a character, but oddly, the reason that I don't like him as a character would mean that I didn't like Asta as a character, but I love Asta, so I don't Because he yells all the time? Yeah, it's just screaming, but he <laughs> just constantly says, you better believe it, over and over. I don't believe that, it. That that dies out in uh, Shippuden. Shippuden was really it. good, and like Naruto yeah, takes a lot of development eventually. Just skip the skip, whole beginning. Who cares? Skip Naruto and jump into Shippuden, and he's way more easy to handle. All right. Dude, uh, the only thing you need to know from regard. Naruto is, is like he learns how to do the the Rasengan. Yeah, that's it. That, that's all you need from the whole beginning. If you See, jump into Shippuden, that's it. Like you're you're fine. Like he comes back to the village, and it doesn't even matter. You just plus you, you get go. you get better features of people like uh, Rock Lee and Mike Guy. Who Mike Guy is still by far one of the best insulary characters in that entire anime series. I agree with that actually. That dude also was so ham. He kicked a god. Like he kicked a god and broke bones. Like he he's the goat. Well, and I think I might take a a kind of opposite position on that because. If you skip Naruto, you have to skip all of the the exams, right? The what are they called? Chunin exams. Hey, hey you don't and need them. I thought that was some of the most exciting stuff of the of the series, and so that's fair. I I would not want to skip that. Um, he is annoying though. He is absolutely very annoying. I have 